Good morning and welcome to Local News TV. We're here at Bedford at the Bedford Athletic Stadium and we're here to see this really intriguing sport, fencing. Let's look around and see who we can find. Uh, today is uh, the Bedford FA Open competition. It's a big national competition. 136 fencers coming to Bedford to uh, compete for the trophy. So I have my preconceptions about this kind of sport because my kind of sport is um, swimming, my most extravagant sport. What draws these kind of customers to this sport? Well, fencing is an unusual sport. Um, it's one of the few sports that you can do at quite a high level, all the way from, from being uh, a teenager right up to even being in your 80s. We have members of our club in 70s and 80s, and they keep you fit for a very long time. A lot of people are just interested because they like sword fighting. Um, you know, and a lot of people are interested because it's a genuinely competitive sport. You can meet a lot of people, different places, and a lot of opportunities to compete. You're talking about fitness. I mean, do these customers have to have like a, a subconscious about their kind of stamina and uh, mental ability? You have to keep pretty fit. I mean, it is, it is a good way to keep fit, but um, to compete, you have to be in training two or three times a week. So, uh, I mean, right up to Olympic level, of course, where they're in training every day. But I mean, at a, at a, at a kind of club level or, or even a national level, uh, people are in training three or four times a day. You have to have stamina, fitness, and you have to work on your reflexes and your technical skills as well. Well, it's a good discipline. It keeps you fit. It, keeps you, it gives you a lot of upper body strength, something that I needed and I got from fencing. So, yeah, that's really it. Do you have to have like a special training uh, regime to kind of live up to the sport? Um, no, you just, well, you've got to learn how to do it at first. But then you've got to, you get better as you go to the clubs and when you get better you can do competitions like this and you might get better and as the years go by you come up in those places and you might get in the top 30. Oddly enough, I, I look like I've been in, in the sport a long time, but I've actually been in the sport um, six years. And um, what, what brought me to the, the sport was that I've always found it interesting, um, largely because as a boy, um, I used to watch Zorro on the, on the telly. So um, I, I've always been quite keen on like the outfit. Um, and when, uh, when I used to play badminton with my son in Be at Bedford, um, the fencing club was next door. So I, I used to hear them fencing, see them doing it and saw, saw an advert at the local library and applied to, to join. You have to do, in order to fence in a tournament like this or to fence in a club, you, because it's dangerous, you have to do a training course first. You can't just turn up and start fencing. So for beginners, there's an eight week fencing course. Once you've done that, you can then start fencing and then that's when you start learning how to do it. Um, so uh, the in the intriguing thing about fencing is that, you, you've, I think you met Matt earlier, uh, Matt started as about a 13 year old, I started as a 49 year old. Um, we've got fencers who are well into their 70s and anybody can compete against anybody. And uh, today we, we've got some of the Brit Britain's uh, top fencers here, um, as well as near beginners. Well, we've quizzed some people here about the sport, fencing. I don't know if I'll be taking it up. I'm going to stick to my swimming, to be honest. Um, but I've learned some new stuff today. This is Local News TV, and I'm Christian.